Well, Sandy, congratulations. Victorious on your professional debut in the opening bout of Fight Camp 2021. Just give us your immediate reaction to a good fight. Very good fight. Um, I'm over the moon. I'm so happy and I just enjoyed every minute of that. Like the walkout, everything. I just me for the, I'm me for the pro game. You, you told me throughout the build-up how excited you were. You'd been visualising that ring. Well, when you actually appeared here on the gantry, making your, ring, uh, your way to the ring here at Fight Camp, did it play out in your head like the movie you'd anticipated? It really did. Um, and I just took my time and I just enjoyed it. I just enjoyed it so much. She went her distance, uh, sorry, she went the distance in her one defeat. It was always going to be game and tough. Of course, things got a bit heated at the way in yesterday, but that's good, isn't it? This is the types of fights you want from early on, the type of test, start as you mean to go on. This is what I mean. I, want, I wanted a tough fight and uh, just to prove that, just to prove levels, like I said, levels. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and uh, I showed a glimpse of it, times where she was um, a bit messy, just holding and stuff, but the pro game and... Uh, each fight, as, as it goes on, I'm going to get uh, much better. And you told her yesterday at the way, and look, whatever you do, you're not going to be able to beat me. And as you just say, you proved that tonight. There is levels to this game. Levels. I said that um, if I had a bad day, she wasn't going to beat me. And I, I know it's no disrespect to her. I just know what I'm capable of. And uh, uh, boxing's my life, and I'm going all the way. Straight into six rounds was a statement in itself tonight, wasn't it, for your prof professional debut? Did you always just feel like the four rounds, the force twos, was too quick? You wanted more time under the lights to, to showcase what you can do? Yeah, definitely. Um, from the amateurs, I was doing three threes. So I did not want to go into four twos um, in the pros. So six rounder. Um, and I just wanted to make a little... It's not like a statement, but I just wanted to, you know, I'm not starting on a four rounder, six rounder, show levels. And uh, the amateur experience you've had is obviously going to help you massively as you transition and continue to transition as a professional. But yeah. nights like this, I'm sure, just reaffirm how glad and grateful you are that this was the time for you to turn professional and burst onto the scene, wasn't it? Honestly, this was the time. Um, but um, just a quick one before my uh, D team, GB, um, my teammates out there, uh, out in Tokyo, a lot of them have already secured medals. Um, I'm buzzing my, my heart's there with them. Um, Karis Artingstall, she's got a bronze medal. Lauren Price, she secured a bronze. I yeah, used to room with them, lived with them for years. So I'm absolutely buzzing for them. Brilliant. Well said. I'm sure they'll be uh, very proud of you as well tonight. Um, let's talk about the, the aims, the plans for you in this sport. You, you've talked about your, you want your name to be up there with the likes of Katie Taylor long term. Obviously, recent times you've been banking great experience rounds with the likes of Savannah Marshall. You've got the platform, the people around you and the promoter now, haven't you, to make those dreams a reality? <laughs> Definitely, I've got the right team behind me. I've got Matt Trim, own Eddie Earn. I've got Paul Reddy, my manager. And I've got Clifton, my trainer. And that's all I need. That's my team. I don't need a big entourage around me. This is all I need. And um, we're going all the way, Cliff. And I bet after tonight, you just can't wait to get back out there, right? <laughs> I just said to Eddie then, when am I next out? Hopefully, end of September. Brilliant. And um, Sandy, we're just getting started. We look forward to a brilliant future ahead. Yeah, 1-0. Congratulations. Thank you. Brilliant.